this is the um, Norse chicken stock. Mm -hmm. I like the tubs of the Norse, but I can't find it anymore. The tubs of the ge gelatinous gotcha. kind, but I can't find it anymore. A lady at the store told me this was just as good. And this Kinder's buttery garlic rub, oh my God. I'll put, I would put that, I've put it on so far. I have put it on the pork. I have put it on fish. And now I'm putting it on chicken. I put it on all of your roasted vegetables. It's just so good. And it's the buttery garlic herb. Okay, so I'm probably only going to get one more jar. So I'll put the last jar. I'll probably put some bone broth in. So after this, <clears throat> I'll um, clean off the rims and put the lids on and put it in the canner and it'll process for 75 minutes. See, I could have had a little more. This mm -hmm. was six pounds of chicken. Okay. So. So, a pound in each jar. Yeah. About. And that's plenty for, like, soup or um, chicken salad for the three of us. That's not perfect, but it'll do. Also, when I do this, before I put my lids on, I feel the tops. Yeah. These are brand new. Um, to see if there's any chips. Because you don't want to can it and it not can, right? Yep. Because there's a chip. Or you don't want glass in your jars. Um. They're saying we don't have to do this anymore. Why? Because they come... I guess because it's going in there. Just saying that's not necessary anymore. I used to do all of them. Yeah. And my jars. I put the jars in the dishwasher. Or put them in the oven or boiling water. But... I'm going to turn them around. I guess because the process itself, I like them hot too because I feel like they stick. Is that magnetic? Yeah. Okay. I feel like it makes this rubber soft. Yeah, I'm so, sure it would. But so will the heat inside uh, yeah. the canner. <clears throat> My fingers can handle it. Like I said, I'd rather have seven or have something else ready to go in. I guess I took that lid from over there, so. Finger tight. Like. Since these are cold pack, raw pack, whatever you want to call it, I'm not having to use the jar lifter. So now you can't see in my canner anymore where the water line is supposed to be. So I t I tend to go like three quarters of the way up the side of yeah. my jars. Um, that's sad that there's one left. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna it's on high. I'm gonna yeah. put some more water in. I'm gonna use this water. It's That's a good water. idea. Except that the chicken's cold. And I don't like to do cold and hot suddenly. You know it, it, it won't go through that glass that fast, I don't uh, think. I don't I'm always afraid something's gonna crack. 
Oh, I see what you mean. Alright, so when this starts to boil, a rolling boil, or a boil, I put the lid on. I right. guess some people put the lid on right away. But I wait till I know it's boiling. Then I put the lid on, mm -hmm. and then there's steam. This vent right here, yeah. you gotta let that steam come out really good for 10 minutes. And then you put your weight on. Oh, okay. Okay, this is 15,000, I only need 10. So I'm gonna take the top one off. And when this, after this vents for 10 minutes, I'll put this on, 10 pounds, and this will cook for, I think, 75 minutes. And then you turn it off, and you let this thing, you see this thing? Yeah. When that thing goes down, then you can take your lid off. So there you go. Okay. Easy peasy, snack and easy.